everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I'm wanting to <laughs> uh, plant out my Dutch buckets with uh, bell peppers and one sweet banana pepper. Uh, we're not trying to do too hot of peppers right now. We're trying to just get some groceries filled, and we eat a lot of pepper steak and a lot of stir fries and stuff like that, and so I'm wanting to grow peppers. So I have these all cleared out, cleaned out. And um, I am going to be making a few changes to the way I plant these. So normally I would plant them in the middle. Um, but I noticed that the roots go down really quickly and try to clog up the holes. Um, so I pulled the uh, water inlet line or the outlet line all the way to this side. So it's going to take longer for it to basically come down, travel down the buckets, you know, and then out the drain line. Um, I do have videos on how I built these Dutch buckets that you can see up there in the corner uh, if you guys want to watch it. And, um, you know, before we get started, maybe you want to subscribe and hit that, um, that bell icon. That way you make sure you don't miss any updates because I will be doing updates on this, whether it be good or bad. Um, with aquaponics, it's kind of hard to tell, um, in my case anyways, because I'm not good at it. Uh, how you know how these are going to grow so we'll see how it goes but um, I've had good luck with um, my jalapeno uh, plant in my aquaponic system so I'm hoping this will go well as well so the ones that I'm going to be planting are actually called uh, sorry it's so windy today red beauties okay and since we're getting pretty good winds here I'm going to basically plant them down a little deeper um, one other thing that I did make a change on with my Dutch buckets is I added a, um, a basically on-off switch um, that will l allow water to come in and, uh, and off, basically on and off uh, every 15 minutes. So the, the hope for that is that um, as the water goes in there uh, and it's not uh, just flowing through, because basically root systems will follow the nutrients. So if the water's constantly running, I've noticed in these things, root systems from tomato plants clog these up. Um, now, tomato plants have an extensive root system where peppers, it's, it's pretty big, but it's, it's not as crazy as tomatoes. So I'm hoping I don't have that issue. Mixed in with the fact that I'm turning the water off and on um, uh, throughout uh, every 15 minutes, basically. So it, it's on for 15 minutes, it sits for 15 minutes. On for 15, sits for 15. And the hope for that is that um, I'll get some air roots up here towards the top, which would hopefully be more dominant than the tap roots that will, will try to drive its way down. So with that said, let's get these in the beds or in the, uh, the buckets, all right? So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the plant in my uh, nutrient water here. Um, and I have other, obviously, other bell pepper plants that I've set uh, basically at the bottom of my um, towers, of my Zipro towers. And I can show you a little bit. We got some strawberries growing already. So I'll do a video on that update, and you guys will see that later. But yeah, so I'm basically using the gutter system that already has r water running through it. And I'll, you know, I'll put a video to the last video I did for the, um, for the zip grow towers as well for the strawberries. I'm going to do a video soon on uh, how my strawberries are growing right now. But anyway, so the nutrient water is running through there and um, it'll keep these plants alive. Uh, and then uh, there is soil in this, so, but it just seeps up through the bottom so I can keep the plants alive for really long periods of time this way. So, but anyways, let's go ahead and uh, show you how I take them out of the pots and get them into the um, Dutch buckets. With a bonny, bonny bone that I buried for me own, and my bonny, bonny bank in the backyard. <laughs> All right, let's get to this. So basically, I rinse here, and then I do a thorough, more thorough rinse here. At least that's the idea, right? I'm trying to get off um, most of the dirt here. I might even just try to do it dry first um, and then, um, you know, like tap off most of the dirt and then try and, and dip it into the bucket here. So we'll just start with that plant that um, I was already working on. You done? All right, go for it, go inside. So that was my boy. So anyways, um, 
Uh, one of the things that I did notice as well is that we have more than one plant here. So when you're going to the nursery and you're picking these plants up, you'll notice a lot of the time you have multiple plants. Um, now, most people don't care about that because they only use one or they just don't know that uh, and they plant all three of them together and then they have a problem later. So we're going to utilize these other plants, but that'll be another video. So let's go ahead and get this started. So I'm not really too dainty with them. Um, I'm trying to get the roots nice and loose. Am I getting all this on video? Yes. Um, and as you can see, I'm trying to save the soil as well. So there's holes all on the bottom of that, but I actually put the soil down by my trees and then I, as I hose off my trees, all that little soil goes into my trees. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and let's get this done. So obviously you don't want to drop it right on the plant, but you're just trying to get most of that soil off. As best you can, and it could, you know what, it might take too long for me to do this on video, but you'll get the gist of it. Shaking it up and down basically releases the soil um, a lot better than shaking it side to side because you can break the stems and stuff, but you want to hold on to the main stem and then shake it off, okay? And then from there, you want to take your bucket of what up? Bruce Lee's favorite drink. And you want to go ahead and that really loosens things up. Okay. Notice I'm going up and down still. Okay. I'm not going crazy with it. You don't want soil in your aquaponics system. Um, it'll, you know, it'll eventually clog up your system. It could basically get into your pump, all kinds of different stuff. Okay. So you want it pretty clean. So anyway, not good enough, um, but good enough for video. <laughs> so you don't want things like this getting in there, okay? Uh, and little wood chips and stuff like that, but that's basically the gist of it. Now, one other thing, when you're rinsing off your roots, I'm kind of anal about this stuff, so basically what I would do is once I get them to this point, I'll dip them right down, I mean, once the roots are clean. I'll dip them right down into nutrient-rich water because remember, our, our pots have already been sitting in it, um, so they're used to that water. So I'll dip it right down in nutrient-rich water, which will wash off any of the, you know, like the ammonia or, uh, uh, not the ammonia, you know, stuff that comes from tap water, basically. I can't remember what it's called. Comment section below, you guys. <laughs> I can't remember what it is right now, but basically that's how you want your roots. You want them nice and cleaned off and then dip them into nutrient-rich water to rinse off that... Uh, you know, tap water garbage, and then you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and plant these. So there we go. We got all the roots nice and cleaned off. Okay, laid them down in the nutrient rich water inside the gutter there. And now I'm just gonna put them down inside my bucket, which also has nutrient rich water, and get these things planted out. You can see they're a little wilty, so you have to make transfers pretty quick and you have to keep those roots nice and moist. So. And just be careful, you know. You don't have to be super careful, but careful enough. And the plan is to minimize the shock. That's what it is, so. So this is actually a sweet banana pepper. Okay. So it's not a hot banana pepper. And um, as you can see, I have it planted more towards the front of the bed. Um, like I said, the uh, the tube comes all the way over here and the nutrient rich water is hitting the root system. Uh, it's really important that you keep the water directly on the main stem. Uh, that way the water is definitely hitting the roots when you first plant it because they are going to be in somewhat shock and if they can't find water or moisture uh, they will uh, shrivel up and die pretty quick. So this is how I'm going to plant them all out all the way down so let's start with that one right there. Basically what I do, um, oh, and by the way, I do have um, uh, netting on this one, paint, box, paint strainer basically, and I'm just trying to see if the roots are gonna be blocked by this. I don't think they will though, uh, but they might, you know, most of them. So anyways, we need to get that plant in this area. So I just push that to the back. And remember, I'm planting them more in one side uh, towards the front. Um, and so you want to get those roots as deep as you can. So what I do 
is I will kind of bundle them up a little bit here. And then I will put them, like wiggle my hand and then open it down at the bottom more. And then hopefully rocks will fall back onto the roots. Okay, there you go. And so now you just want to cover that root system. Just until you're getting this plant stable, okay? Easiest planting ever, <laughs> compared to dirt, of course. Okay, and then you want to put that hose. Am I getting this on film? Yeah, there we go. You want to put that hose pretty much directly on that area. Okay, super close to it. Because we're trying to minimize shock here, okay? So let's get the other ones planted. All right, again, moving the water to the back. No net on this one, so we'll see what happens, huh? <laughs> life's an experiment at least that's how I look at it all right and so my root system is looking good and we just need to push all that as far back as we can get it without dumping it over the other side okay sorry the phone shadow or my camera shadow is in the uh, is in the frame here but I'm a farming guy I'm not a camera guy so and I probably say that like every single video because I'm older now. All right, let me see here. So, let's see. All right, wiggle it down in there. Open the hand. Fills out the back. There we go. Now, bring that forward. Oh, by the way, <laughs> when I planted out garlic in these, the roots... When, when they start to go bad, oh my gosh. I don't know if any of you know what I'm talking about, but rancid garlic root, not a good thing. All right, and then we take that water again, put it right down by the stem. I'm gonna probably come back and actually steady this one, but I wanna get this done. So I'm gonna skip to the end. I'll just show you the planted out plants now. So it's been probably about 15 minutes since I've gotten all of these in. And as you can see, they're all looking pretty good. Uh, they're not too wilty little leaf curl right here you know but that's kind of to be expected when you're transferring in the middle of the day <laughs> so I don't recommend doing it in the middle of the day you guys but I'm pressed for time so um, one thing that I did want to say is that if you have any flowers developing at this point you want to just cut those off just just the flowers because um, you're trying to get more growth out of these things okay so I can I can clip these off too as well, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna leave those, but any flowers that are already showing, just go ahead and clip those off. And then later on, I'm gonna show you guys, oh, well, I'm not gonna show you guys because I'm learning about it myself, but there's a ways to cut peppers in order to get more of a uh, bush style pepper versus a tall pepper plant. So I'm gonna do that experiment basically. I'll probably just do, uh, do the clipping to most of them and then I will, um, and then I will leave one alone. So I need to look it up, though. I think I was already supposed to do it. Um, it's splitting already, right there. See that split? And so um, I might just leave this. I might leave them alone. I don't know. You're supposed to clip them when they're really low. That way, they have two little branches that come off. So. Anyways, if you guys like this clip, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, hit that subscribe button. Uh, that one's really important, you guys, because a lot of the time you guys miss my videos and because uh, the reason why you do is because, uh, you know, they didn't tell us a long time ago that we're going to do this bell icon thing. So uh, if you don't know, click that little bell icon as well when you hit the subscribe button or if you're already subscribed, hit the bell icon and it'll send you any updates that I've made uh, on my channel. It'll also send you like photos and stuff that I uh, post in the community area of my channel. So um, if you guys want to see updates on the community, just uh, go ahead and go to the main page and you'll see community on there. And then you guys can uh, check out what, I'm, what else I'm posting on there and stuff. So uh, these are all of them. So my bell pep banana peppers and these are all red bells. Uh, I'll end up eating them when they're green though because I like green bell peppers. So anyways, like always you guys, God bless you. And yeah, peace.